Here's my second video on factoring with algebra tiles. This is one that involves a negative, which kind of makes the process a little bit trickier, um, but it's still not too bad. So if you remember from the previous video, I want to start with my product, and I want to arrange it in such a way that makes a rectangle, and then that will reveal the factors to me, okay? And so I start with my x squareds in the top left, and I'll put my units down here in the bottom right to try to arrange a rectangle, but I can already tell that's not going to work because I've got some really big holes in my rectangle right here. Hmm, so I could try to do this a different way, but this one's still not going to work. The reason this requires some ingenuity is because I have to un have an understanding of what a zero pair is. I know that if my product is x squared minus 2x minus 8, I can add a zero pair, or in other words, one positive and one negative tile, and I will not change the value of my product. So I can add a positive and negative, and I can add a positive and a negative. Once I've done this a few times and played around with it, I can now arrange my tiles into a perfect rectangle. And I can check with multiplication. I know that my factor on top is going to be x plus 2. And my factor on the left side is going to be um, x and then a minus 4 down here. And I know that these are negatives because they have to multiply with that positive tile right there to make negatives here. And so, although it doesn't look at it like it, my product right here is still representative of x squared minus 2x minus 8, but I had to add a couple of those zero pairs, or in other words, a green tile and a red tile that cancel out or add to zero.